Hiya, and welcome to Dupla Art, where I take the duplicates we find in our Giggles and Gallimaufry's unboxings and art with them. Today's duplicate is Twisted Foxy from the Funko Five Nights at Freddy's Mystery Minis Collection. This project's a bit different. Normally I art with the duplicates that we find, but I saw this foam shield in Daisy's collection and knew right away I had to turn it into Foxy. It looks just like him. Peekaboo! I have never painted on foam before and thought this might be something fun to try. I started off by priming it with black acrylic paint, which I mixed with water, because it was a little thick and I was worried about how much this shield was going to soak up, which I did end up giving this three coats of this mixture. I did look online to see if I could find this shield, and I did find it on the Walmart website. It's shown as being sold by Century Novelty Company, and when I went to their website, they had it for $1.13. I don't know if you have to have a wholesale license or what. You can still get this shield, and it comes with a sword, which I didn't use this time around. But after the third layer, I noticed that the finish was cracking. I wanted to make sure I had a nice black surface before I started, so we had some Mod Podge on hand. I mix this in with the black paint. I don't normally like to use Mod Podge because it is an adhesive and in the area that I live with humidity, sometimes Mod Podge can become sticky and attract dust, but I did plan on sealing this under some spray sealer, so I was okay with using it here. One coat and it was perfectly primed. I was worried it was going to dry a little glossy, but it did end up drying out pretty matte. But little gloss, I'm okay with it. I decided against taping it at first. The embossing on it looked like it was going to be easy enough to stay away from the edges and being that I based it in black I could always clean up the lines after. I started out by mixing a burnt sienna with an antique gold color to get the lighter color around his eyes and on his muzzle and I was constantly using the figure for reference points. I started with cutting in the ears. Since this wasn't, an, wasn't a foxy shield, I did just go around the inside edge using the embossing to guide the shape of my circle. And I used a Q-tip with water to try and clean the edges as much as possible where it ran down the sides. Next, I used some of that tan white and the hot pink to get the color for the inside of his jaw. And then I cut in all the fur areas with just straight up burnt sienna. This piece is very well embossed so following along the edge of that was very easy and clean up being that this is acrylic cleaned up very easily with a q-tip to straighten out my lines. I was really trying to get away with not having to tape this up. Luckily I chose to paint this on the right day that the acrylic was drying fast enough that I could paint a second coat rather quickly. Each of these colors took about two to three coats each to get really solid coverage, but that Mod Podge layer did help tremendously with that. I was quite surprised, still surprised. Here is where the failures of the mouth began. My first attempt at his teeth, I used a paint pen. 
while I got the paint down, uh, because of how thick the paint pen was, it just really was making more of a mess. So I just went back to straight up acrylic and painted in an area. Then while I was thinking about how I could get better results, the brush I had wasn't making points well enough for me. I went in and used an acrylic enamel to get the really bright red eyes. After that, I sketched out the areas where the part of his ear is torn away, where the black parts of the machinery underneath were showing through so that I could black that up. And then I wanted to seal all that in, so I gave it two coats of this matte finish spray. And then before I started working on the teeth again, I taped off the mouth area to get a really clean line under the muzzle and along the jaw line. And while I was still thinking about how I could fix the mouth, because I was still not happy with it, I decided to start taping off. I really didn't think this embossing was high enough to avoid getting paint everywhere, so I decided to tape it off. I made the mistake of using the wrong painter's tape. The type, the brand, this Blue Hawk that I bought, I do not like this at all. It strings, it, it does not tear well. It just, it was a pain in the ass. It really was. So really pick a good painter's tape if you're going to cut out this much detail. But it really is important if you're going to do something like this to take the time and cut it out very well, tape it up really well, because the end results are so great that you're going to be so satisfied with doing that. So my suggestion is throw on some good music or something to binge watch. It's also important to use a very sharp X-Acto blade. If you can start with a new blade, that's the way to go. And take your time and do this really nicely because it turns out so cool in the end. And it's satisfying to peel that edge and see that nice clean line. Since I was already over taping things, I went ahead and taped up the muzzle area to try on the mouth again. I tried the smallest brush I had to try and get really good little lines in there and it just wasn't coming out the way that I wanted so I ended up just whiting out the entire mouth area and thought I'd go back in with a black and do it that way. For the accents and edges, I used a metallic Venetian gold. I wet down a makeup wedge very lightly and just sponged the paint onto the raised areas all along, just tap, 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 all the way along. I love sponge painting. It's very relaxing, tap, tap, tap. Good music on, tap, tap, tap. <laughs> it's very stress relieving. And this paint was really good that I only needed the one coat, and I'm glad I did because I really like the texture that I got with the, the sponge application. And I went back with a paintbrush and just applied paint directly to the little raised, what's supposed to be little rivet heads, to make those stand out more. I did end up just painting in with the black acrylic paint in the mouth off camera because I had to look at it really closely to really see my lines. I worked so hard on this and so I'm sorry, but now it's time to peel all this tape off and see. This is my favorite part. This is satisfaction right here. And then once I peeled the tape, I gave it three more coats to make sure it was good and sealed. And here's the end result. I think it looks so cool. It's amazing that a $1.13 shield, less than that if you minus off the sword, looks like this. I really enjoyed it. I learned a lot about painting on foam. I learned a lot about being forgiving of Mod Podge because it, did not, it doesn't get sticky. Here you see I took a picture of it in the sun and it was fine. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please give this a thumbs up and share and subscribe to see what I do next. And if you'd like to see more of our unboxing, you can go to Blind Bag Hags. The link is down below. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.